being able to work with people, like you said, making easiest meals, easiest thing possible, set the goal as, as low as you possibly can so they can achieve it and build, build that confidence. Are there any non-negotiables, however? Are there any that obviously you can't, if somebody can't do something, like they can't do something, you can't force them to do it or they don't want to do something. But are there any in your mind or do you consider anything to be like a non-negotiable in terms of nutrition, lifestyle, um, just recovery, things like that? So when it comes to, I always go bring it back to basics. Number one, you need to be drinking enough water, right? Non-negotiable, making sure you're getting as much sleep as possible, non-negotiable. The thing that I give across the board to me, pretty much all of my clients, no matter where they're from, and not every dietitian works like this, but my thing is like, you just need regular balanced meals, which sounds really boring from a dietitian. But what that means to, for many clients, you just say that and something clicks in their head where I'm like, we're going to try and aim for ideal blood sugar control if we can. So that means regular balanced meals. That means eating every three to five hours to start with, just to see how they're going. Uh, and that means that every meal, see if you can have a bit of protein, a bit of carbs, a bit of fat, a bit of fiber. And as they start to make their meal combinations like that, they start to understand nutrition and they start to see how their appetite is impacted. They start to see their energy levels improve. And when you can start getting that baseline, then they start wanting to exercise. Then they start wanting to add variety. Then they start wanting to experiment. How much longer can I go without eating without getting super, super hungry and then binging, for example, in my, in my niche? Um, so that, that's kind of like my core that I try to get everyone to start with, especially in my niche where I'm working with people that binge eat and overeat. I need to make sure that you're well-fed and not hungry and that we can't blame blood sugar or a lack of a certain macronutrient or micronutrient um, for whatever issues you're having with food. 